Good morning. Today, tomorrow, and the next day is actually be a pretty cool adventure for me. I'm down in Miami. I took the train, as you saw, to get here. Um, I am at the Miami Beach Marina, and we are taking our Sunseeker Predator 65 out for a sea trial today with press. Um, and I've actually never done a sea trial with press before. And then tomorrow we are doing a. Uh, sorry about that. We're doing a photo shoot. A uh, photo shoot. This is what you see in the magazines with actual models, and there's a lot that goes into it. So uh, that'll be my first photo shoot, um, and actually being out on the water in Miami. So I'll bring you along and see what it's like. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott, and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Well, this should be interesting. I'm gonna have to figure out how I and the other people are gonna actually get on the boat. I'll have to pull it tighter so I can make the jump, but gosh. <laughs> It'll be interesting, that's for sure. That's one of my biggest things about Florida is we don't have floating docks. It's crazy. So we just left the harbor. We just finished helping with the lines, putting everything away so it looks pretty. This is the port. So we are going to go offshore. Camera crew has a camera there, so I'm not going to go out there. They're mounting cameras. That's part of the, the film crew. So you're going to get just the behind the scenes of this photo shoot, which I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me. And no, this is not a haul over. This is the Fisher. Island Inlet. I think that's what they call it. So there's markers all the way. You got a marker there, you got marker, tail markers. It's pretty interesting. You've got cameras all around. They've got a camera crew. The name of the um, company is Boat Show TV. They're primarily uh, in the um, Europe area, and so I've never heard of them. So I'll have to check them out because they've got all kinds of reviews, um, and they're syndicated on television, which I've been talking about why we don't have that here. So I'm interested to see what it is all about. And that is Miami behind us. The Predator 65 is known for its performance and maneuverability. As part of the sea trial, we demonstrated the yacht's ability to easily make hard turns at 30 knots. There were times I was feeling a bit nervous as we were making numerous S-turns and touching the sea. Because I had to stay out of the film crew's way, I wasn't able to show you much of the film shoot itself. So instead, just enjoy the view. been summoned down below because they're going to do the drone running footage now and uh, I'm in this cabin it's a twin I'll show you around this is a little charging thing I've been using and uh, hopefully we can kind of get some good footage from here probably be all water but we'll see
ですよ12:30. We just dropped off boat show TV crew, and we just picked up Power and Motor Yacht magazine, and they're gonna do a sea trial, and then we're gonna go back in, grab some lunch, and then go back out at three o'clock with another group of press. So such is life, but that's my office view. Well, I am waiting for my crew uh, to go out on the Predator, and today we are supposed to be going to some inlet that I have not been to before. I haven't been boating in Miami other than yesterday when we went out to sea and we were on Fisher Island. So this is going to be uh, another, um, uh, what they call, we're at Bisking Key. Uh, and we're going to go to another one that's supposed to be pretty uh, protected from the wind. So we'll find out um, where we're going. And uh, we were hoping to leave by 8 a.m. So it's 5 to 8. I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> but the plan is, is to take the sea bobs and the models will uh, get to use them as well. So that could be pretty fun. Our crew was in search of a stunning backdrop to do our photo shoot, but after a few failed attempts, we decided to move on and do our drone shots instead. We headed down to Cape Florida, which was beautiful. Whatever that is in the back, yeah. Some kind of, it doesn't even have windows. No, we're not. We're backing out because there's a big sport fish coming in.
right here. And uh, we're not done. It is 5 o'clock. We're waiting for slack tide at 5.36. Actually, it's 5.20. And uh, we're at this lighthouse where we're going to see the sunset. Uh, the currents are good, and then they're going to run the drone. And it's really low tide. So let me turn this around. Bad habit about doing that. So here's a pretty lighthouse. Isn't this pretty? And then if you come over here, you can see how low the tide is. Let's zoom in maybe. We are back tomorrow, but you are not going to want to see it tomorrow. And um, we are going to watch the sunset here in Miami and uh, bring you along. So if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave your comments down below and also subscribe. And while you're doing that, let's share with you what this looks like.